Polls open 6 a.m. tomorrow in New Haven's hotly contested Democratic primary for mayor. All four candidates hit the campaign trail around the city today in the last full day before registered Democrats cast their ballots. Our chief political correspondent Mark Davis has more. This is Tony Harp, and I just wanted to remind you of the election tomorrow. It's a primary election. State Senator Tony Harp spent a large portion of this day with her campaign workers calling voters. After winning more than a dozen elections in the city, she is considered the front runner and needs a big victory tomorrow. She's stressing her experience in government. I would hope that they would look at my experience and my willingness to listen and work with others to move the city forward. Her strongest opponent appears to be Alderman Justin Elliker, the only other candidate with some record of getting votes. Harp's own campaign is saying that Elliker appears to be in second place in their polling. I'm the candidate that's participating in public financing, unlike Tony Harp, and therefore I have a, an incredible number of donations from New Haven residents uh, and not from special interests and contractors from outside the city. Former City Economic Development Director Henry Fernandez is also touting his experience and says it is much stronger than Harp's as a legislator. I've run a large nonprofit. Uh, I've run a big part of city government, uh, managed thousands of employees, and uh, the city of New Haven deserves a mayor who has the ability to do the job on day one. Hillhouse High School principal Kerm Carolina says he's the mayor the city deserves because he's the only lifelong New Havener in the pack. They're saying all the right things. Uh, they have something to offer to the city, but I think there's something to be said for someone who's lived here as a lifelong resident uh, and who's experiencing what they experience every day. Harp has raised the most money and has the commitment of several labor unions in helping to get out the vote tomorrow. There are about 48,000 registered Democrats in New Haven eligible to vote in this first round in the race for mayor. In New Haven, Mark Davis, News 8.